six different topics that are of interest to the identity management community. One of the things I want to let you know is in January and February, we're going to have two additional ones. One's going to look at health, e health records, how we're going to secure those in relation to identity management. And then we're also going to look at your identity and social networking and online in February and some of the issues surrounding that. So I think for, for this one, I will turn it over to one of our active committee members, Jim Doff with CSC, and he will be the host for today. Good morning. Thank you, Jennifer. How is everyone? Great. Thank you for great with the weather and coming in here today since we've, uh, Jen, it's being blamed on me. Uh, thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. No problem. Uh, some got you credit. Um, I, I want to give good deference up front uh, early to our speakers who, uh, a couple have gone way, way beyond the call to be here and, have, and, and be with us today and give us their insights. Uh, uh, Jorg and, and, and uh, John came in last night from the West Coast for to greet you this morning. So. Uh, uh, we kind of said if they want two or three extra minutes, they have it just because of that doing that, coming in and getting two hours of sleep and coming in here. So thank you guys. Uh, to be impolite uh, and start it just because I am what I am, I gave these guys a challenge up front. So starting with Mooley, uh, guys, how about introducing yourselves very quickly for this for this raucous crowd and uh, tell, telling them your excuse for being here. So I am uh, the Computer Security Division of NIST, which is part of the Information Technology Lab. So for the last four or five years, I've been involved with the uh, specifications concerning the PIV cards. Um, and then uh, of late, we have started um, a yeah, group for looking into the security aspects of the cloud computing. And probably that's my excuse for being here too. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, around about 20 years now in semiconductor industry. Most of the time, I had a little excursion into wireless for, for three years, and the rest of the time, uh, mainly in security and uh, security ICs. From the early beginnings of this industry until its current state, uh, and um, cloud computing, and um, hardware security, basically. and that's um, why I'm here to tell you a little bit about, about this management. Tom Beeston, I'm with HP, and I'm with the Office of CTO for HP Enterprise Services. And I'm primarily working on ITO outsourcing for HP. And uh, one of those things, of course, is cloud computing, so I'm here to talk about how we can support the cloud. Yeah. I'm John Lyons. I told Jennifer I came for the breakfast, and it better be good. <laughs> um, I'm with uh, Boeing Information Security. Um, I understand. Jennifer and Tech America were looking for a practitioner, so I'm uh, responsible for uh, or, uh, standing up the identity management and directory infrastructure uh, in Boeing, uh, and also for the authentication systems and public key infrastructure systems. We've got an early smart card implementation, uh, a roadmap through authentication. I thought a lot of these topics would come up today, and I'd be glad to talk about them for my observations and personal opinions. And let me let me kick this off by uh, just setting the stage for what people think we're talking about or what we may not be talking about, depending on how we go with points for the next hour and what your questions are over the next hour plus. So let's start by thinking about how many definitions we've seen in the last two years on at least 15 studies that have been published on the topics of identity management, cybersecurity, cloud computing. Uh, pick your favorite. Uh, pick ones coming out of the government, pick ones coming out of industry, pick ones coming uh, from even from Europe recently. Uh, and note that there are some convergences, some common themes that I hope we hit during this discussion this morning. If not, uh, uh, fire away when everybody gets done presenting. And, and if you think about it, now we've got uh, a new wrinkle that hit, hit us last week officially. Uh, we now have a, a new EU-US accord on privacy and how we would do privacy to go on top of some other things that, uh, that are in the mix. And of course, when we talk about cloud computing, privacy stays at the top of the list is one of the issues you have to deal with. So here we go. I mean, that's the summaries out of three reports. So I won't go into any of them. I will, I will let us go from there. But let's start with when we talk about the confusion in town now about cyber and identity. And I'm going to offer a couple of definitions to set the stage, and then it's really to get us crack cranking, all right? Um, identity management and cybersecurity, from our perspective, work together to discourage and preclude unauthorized access and the resulting risk from harm. 
So to make that marriage work, you kind of say cybersecurity facilitates the protection of infrastructure and maintenance of the information and mission critical systems by mitigating threats of attack. It protects from outside stuff. While the identity management piece establishes and maintains the integrity of the people and associated devices that signify them and their permissions in physical and logical infrastructures with confidence while, a meeting, while at a minimum meeting appropriate privacy requirements. And then cloud computing, a definition that I will attribute to Gartner, and uh, uh, say what you will about that, the, uh, your, your opinions, but these are just things to say, let's get started. Cloud computing, a style of computing where massively scalable IT-enabled capabilities are provided as a service across the internet to multiple external uh, customers. And there are four attributes. Uh, there's an acquisition model, a business model, and how you pay for usage, the acquisition model, how you provide the service, an access model on how you use the internet or don't use it, and the technical model on how scalable, elastic, or shareable the cloud is that you're offering. So with those kind of things sitting on the table, Wooly. Mm -hmm.